everybody. So if you're feeling like you are finished with your piece, then we're going to move on to kind of adding some craftsmanship to the outside, okay? We also are going to talk about, um, well, um, I shouldn't say adding craftsmanship. Craftsmanship is a way that you work. It's kind of like a code for working neatly and taking your time. So I have this piece, and I also have this one. So can anybody remind me how tall we said these had to be? Yes, they can't be taller than seven inches. I realize that that can get a little tricky, so I'm gonna go ahead and say, if you want to do between six and seven inches, if it's a little shorter than seven, that's okay. So here I've got my piece and I'm turning it on its side so that you can see a little better. And as I measure it, mine is seven and a half. So that's too tall. It's not gonna fit in the kiln. So if that happens to you, come and see me, but what I'm gonna end up doing is cutting off one of these coil lengths. And this is a job that you should have help with. So if you need to do this, come and see me. It's not something I want you to do on your own because we don't want to destroy the whole piece and it can be kind of tricky. I just um, had a problem with mine. So I'm going to take this out of the way. And now my top is kind of jagged. So I want to smooth that out. And this is part of craftsmanship. I'm using my hand and I'm smoothing it just to make it look as nice as possible. I don't want to leave it sloppy. I don't want to leave it um, looking all jagged. And then I'm going to go around the inside to kind of curve it a little bit so it doesn't have those hard edges. And I'm doing the same to the outside so I don't want it to have those hard edges. And I'm just smoothing it out the best I can. Now, again, it is so tempting for me to take my fingers, dip them in water, and just smear this like a slippery mud slide, right? But that's going to make my pot too soft. It's going to make it not be able to support itself. So now I want to zoom in. Okay, and this piece looks good, but it could look better. For example, you can see some extra score marks right there. So I'm going to use my tool, or you could use my finger, or your finger, don't use mine. Um, and very carefully, I'm going to smooth that out. Also, this coil, that just doesn't look like well done to me. It could be a little smoother. So I'm just using my tool, or you can use your finger, and I'm just smoothing this out, making it look as polished and as well crafted as possible. Sometimes I get those kind of clay crumbs coming up and I just sort of sweep those out of the way. So hopefully you can kind of tell the difference between this part that I've smoothed and this part that's still kind of jagged, okay? So I'm not saying they have to be perfect, but you wanna go in there and just kind of clean them up and make sure all those coils where they're joined just look as nice and smooth as possible. So I'm kind of going over everything if I've got a little rough spot, I'm just kind of smoothing it out with my thumb. Again, it's awfully tempting to grab that water, but we know it's going to make my pot too weak. And I've done all this work, if I rub it with water and then I set it down, it's gonna smoosh right down and collapse on itself. Now, after you've cleaned it up, or maybe before, one of the best tools I have found for adding designs to the outside of clay, like scratching it, is a mechanical pencil that doesn't have any lead. And if yours has lead, you can always just kind of push it, the button, and push the lead back in. So I just have this plastic tip. And then if I'd like, I can come in and add designs. Like I'm gonna add some spirals to my word joy. And again, those clay crumbs are something that are gonna kinda come up and you just wanna brush out of the way. Or maybe I wanna put stripes on it. So if when you're done, 
building tall, then you want to kind of jazz up the outside. Whether that's adding carvings here and there, you can carve designs in anywhere. It doesn't have to just be on your word. And then kind of cleaning up those edges to make them look nice and neat, get that high level of craftsmanship. So it, you can kind of tell that we took our time and did our best work. And that's what we're gonna work on today. I'm go the spiral isn't quite what I want it to be. So I'm just gonna keep kind of working at it, problem solving that until it is what I want it to be, okay? Um, usually, I kind of uh, just take my mouth and I blow on this to get those clay, clums out, clay crumbs out of the way. But that's probably not the most sanitary. So I'm going to give you kind of a rough tool, uh, paintbrush to put in your toolkit. So if you have little crumbs in there, you can kind of use your brush to brush them away, or you can use a tool to kind of scoop them out. But we want to take our time with this step and really make something that looks well-crafted, well-made, that we can be proud of. So we're smoothing and carving today. And that is where I will leave you so you know what to do next. Sorry, I can't resist just putting a few polka dots. You want to be very careful. Carving on clay is much different than draw, drawing on paper. So even though you're using a pencil like you're kind of used to, it is going to feel a little different. And you want to be nice and easy. You can always make your polka dot deeper or you can always make your design harder, but it's hard to put it back on once you've scooped it out. You know what I mean? Like it's harder to go more it's harder to undo, I guess you should say. It's easier to do, it's harder to undo. So just kind of take your time nice and easy. So clean up your edges and carve if you would like. And, oh, another thing. You must use your pencil to put your name and your number. Name and number has to be carved in all capital letters, nice and clear so I can read it, okay? Name and number. So that is where we will stop.